Well, this, if I remember correct, this is actually one of the first sequences in this game that we ended up we're, we're, we were doing, and I remember just laughing hysterically because that line that Sully the, the log was actually just a, a piece of tape I believe we put on the floor, and to watch Richard McGonagall kind of stumbling across, uh, it looked like a like a like a newborn horse. You know, just taking its first steps. It was so clumsy and silly, and we just started laughing. So we actually had to edit out a lot of him just laughing with tears in his eyes, kind of, oh, you know, kind of overselling the whole, you know, balance beam act across the, uh, the, the, the that room. The things that come to mind for things like this are just the ridiculous things that we would say and do. And there's one point in that Chateau scene where when I first get in to let Sully in, I believe, I jumped down on a bad guy, you know, do the, and uh, we just started making silly noises, like, you know, just these silly, because I had to actually jump and make that pose. I didn't have to fall that far down, but I had to just do the jump, and then the animators take the jump and then make it longer. So it was just, it, it's the little things, it's the uh, game magic or movie magic, whatever you want to call it. I love that the guy is still shooting. He's hanging out of a plane, but he's still trying to shoot me. Love that guy. And he's dead now. Uh, no, the uh, I remember when we were talking about, uh, you know, what the overall, you know, kind of the, the overview of what this scene was going to be, and we were all just kind of slack-jawed, thinking that's going to be amazing to see, because what a lot of people don't know is we don't, you don't have a lot of, you have no idea what it's going to look like. You know, you're in the suits, uh, it's all on paper, it's in uh, it's, it's in the creative director's head what this is going to look like. They do their best, they may have some, some artwork and some uh, things to show you, but my biggest memory of this is seeing it for the first time, after we had done all the, the acting for it, and just could not believe that that's what, what it, it had come to. That, so those body movements that you see, to get that effect, were done by a real actor, uh, you know, a stuntman. That, that, and I remember watching it, just thinking, "Thank God, that's I don't have to do that." <sighs> I, I remember the first time that I tried to play this with my son, uh, the whole train thing, and it just, yeah, right here, especially, but the the music came in, yeah. Yeah, it, it, it's bringing back a lot of memories because I haven't seen this in a long time. Unlike other games where, uh, you know, like, yeah, we're going to go kill and get to... He just wants to get the hell out of there. So he's running around with Tenzin, who doesn't speak any English. Um, but again, you know, the, you got to give credit to Naughty Dog and the way they... The, these animators and designers and artists put... The, I mean, what a great place to... You know, a place that's so cold, but then the colors, you know, the in the flags, and just what a great landscape to run around in and, and, and interact with. I mean, that at the time, that was the, uh, I think, the top of what a game could look like. I just remember, I remember, the, remember that scene where we're underwater. As we're doing it, uh, for some reason, I thought I, uh, it, it seemed more real if I held my breath while trying to do it because obviously he's underwater and you have to hold your breath. And uh, it was a couple of times I almost passed out when we were, we were doing that because I forgot to breathe. You know, you're trying to, trying to get out and, you know, and everyone starts laughing, you know, okay, cut. And I'm like, ah, I'm like hey, you know you can breathe, right? I'm like, yeah, but I don't think it'll feel real. It's like, and I, and I think the fact that I felt that way and the other actors feel that way when they've done their, their scenes, it's, it's like you're really playing. It's like being a kid again doing this. It's, it's interesting how it's pieced together, because you have to sit and they'd be like, it's a, you see it cracking, and I'm just going, oh, no, 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 and break. And I just do that, and that's all I have to do, which is then cut, and you're like, kind of, it kind of seems silly, but, and then they just marry it perfectly to the animated Drake falling, and then this thing, okay, run, 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 and go down, and I remember this big thing lands, and I just went fetal. But there's nothing falling around us. You know, you just have to imagine it. There was an animator named Keith Garrett who um, went out in the desert in, in, in Southern California and uh, with a bunch of the guys and they 
film running up dunes, walking. What what is how did the feet move? The sand. What what are they going to do to make this look real? Uh, visual effects animators were all looking at the, and he kept running up and down. Then he would roll down and. And he'd run up again, and he'd roll down, and he ran up again, and, and he it looked like he slipped, and he fell, and he rolled down, and he didn't get up. He had heat stroke. I remember pulling up the, uh, you know, you finally find a well, so you think, okay, so as a gameplay, you're going to get some water, and it's nothing. There's more sand. You know, I know Last of Us did a lot of exploratory play, and uh, a lot of people enjoyed that, you know, just checking out the environments. And it's... I think it's a nice nod to all the animators and the artists have done so much work uh, to really get to interact with that st st those kind of things you know helps you uh, get more uh, immersed in the game uh, and it feels less like a just a visual experience it's more of a overall uh, thing again Naughty Dog gets all the credit because they they push the PS3 to its absolute limits. The Naughty Dog is going to push the limits, uh, the current limits of the PS4 um, with this next game as well.